Buenos dias. I just finished my grip and forearm workout and I'm on my walk with Micah and Ghost. And we're walking through Managua, Santo Domingo. And um, I just want to say how important it is to work out your grip and forearms. Uh, just, uh, I've been doing it for I think two months now. And I've, I've seen a tremendous increase in my grip strength. Um, I'm never, never failing a lift because of my grip. Uh, my RDLs, it really works well with the RDLs, Romanian deadlifts and the regular deadlifts. And don't sleep on these workouts. Work out your grip, buy some hand grippers too. It all transitions to your other lifts. And as you get stronger, uh, your, your grip is also getting stronger and you'll never drop like a 400 pound deadlift when you get there uh, because your grip is too weak. And the sooner you start, the better. And, and I think that's it. You'll, if you go back, go back to my first videos of me working my grip, you'll see a big difference in my grip strength on a few of the exercises. Some of them stay very uh, consistent. Like the hanging ones are hard to increase the weight, but I do feel stronger on those two. I think they'll take, just take a little bit more time. But uh, I think it's enough rambling on and enjoy my workout. The first, keep forgetting out the crunch. The first exercise I do on Thursdays is I do false grip dead hangs. And I do it for two reasons. One reason is I'm training to do my first ring muscle up and uh, hanging on the rings is one of the, one of the prerequisites to doing that. And uh, it's also a really good forearm workout because you're bending your arms and flexing your forearm and there's a really deep burn in your forearms. So it's a unique work way of working your grip and also improving your strength on the ring muscle up. And uh, last week I did 50 seconds. So this week I'm gonna try to get a minute and see what happens. And if you're new to the channel, a false grip is when you put your hands up through the rings or even a bar and the weight sitting more on your wrists and the lower part of your palm. I'll show you what my hands look like after where the pressure is. But uh, you can see on my wrists where the rings are sitting. They're sitting here and over here. And actually start building a callus. At first this uh, starts bleeding, just like your hands would when you start doing uh, construction work or calisthenics. But then it, rough, it uh, roughens up. It's able to take a lot of pressure. I'll see how long that was. If it was less than 40 seconds, I'll do it again and maybe rotate the rings, try to get a better grip. Next thing I do is I do one hand dead hangs <clears throat> and um, I start with my left and then I'll do my right and my hands are chalked already. Last week I did I think 33 seconds on my left and 34 on my right which which was really good and I will see if I can match match or beat that this week. These are very painful on the fingers.
If you don't have calluses, you're probably fucked up your hand. I don't know if you can see. I think that was really good. It might have been better than last week. And let's see what I can do with my right. fingers but you can see the difference in the palm I actually had the had the ring more in my fingers and this hand hurts less than this when you put the, the ring too low it grabs the, the bottom of your hand and this actually hurt more with the calluses but I'm not sure which one helped longer I'll see which one was better and I'll focus on using that technique I'm back on the roof with the wrist rollers and last week, last week I did, let me show you in the frame. Last week I did, um, I wasn't able to get 30 pounds up, rolling up. So I'll do, I'll do 30 pounds again, going up. But I did get 30 pounds rolling my wrist down. So I'm gonna add five pounds to that. So I'll do 35 pounds this week. And let's see if I can get three pounds up today. Going up. Next week I'll be able to do it. That was the best I've done. So next week I'll be able probably to get all the way up. And I'll come back with uh, the wrist rollers in the other direction. So I'm back with the wrist roller. Instead of going up this time, I'm gonna go down. And last week I was able to do 25. No, I was able to do 30 pounds, like I said. So now, so now I have what your boost. So I took off a five, I put on a 10, now I have 35 pounds. And let's see if I'm able to get this up. best I can do with the 35 pounds but every week you'll see I'll get better and better and uh, on to the grippers I'm back with the grippers and I have um, from number one to number 2.5 and grippers the one the 1.5 to 2.5 uh, because it's late in my forum workout the 2.5 I don't try on Thursdays I only try on Saturdays so I'm not gonna use that one what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the 2 and then drop down to the 1.5 and then to the 1 like I always do and uh, I'm just going to do one set, one drop set like that and, and that's it, just one drop set. So I'm going to start with the number 2 and I'm actually going to get some chalk in my hands first. The first thing you need to do is put chalk because it helps, it helps uh, for, helps to prevent the handle from slipping and 
holding the grip in your hand in the right position is vital to closing it. Okay, this lid back on. So I'll start, start with the two. You see the two. Let's see. And I'll start with my left hand. And the straighter, the dog leg, the straighter part goes towards the thumb. So see if I can get my first close with my left, which I doubt will happen on a Thursday. Oh, so close. I think I might be the closest I got on the Thursday with my left hand. And now I'll switch to the 2.5 or 1.5. So that's the 1.5. And I'll just do this till I can't close it anymore. One, two, three, four. So I got four full closes with the left. And now I'll go to the one. So the one. And I'll do 10 no matter if I close them or not. One. Two. I got two full closes. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'll do ten assisted closes with my other hand. So close it and let it go slowly. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's my forearm's burning, and that's it. My left hand's done, my left forearm's done, and I'm gonna switch to my right. And get some more chalk. Back up my hand. Let's see what I can do with my right. The two should close with my right, even though it's Thursday. There, it's closed. One. Almost got a second one. I think my record's five on the two. Here's the 1.5. One, two, three, four, five. We have five full closes, the 1.5. And now the one. One, two, three, four, five, six, I guess five full closes, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and then we we'll do ten assisted. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, and that's it. I'm gonna keep doing that Thursdays and Saturdays. Saturdays I'm stronger, so we'll see what, what my strength is on Saturdays. And I'll keep doing that as long as I keep improving. If I stop improving, I'll change something. And come back tomorrow for leg day.